Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and today we're answering your questions about the treatment of severe mitral regurgitation using surgical or transcatheter techniques. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Joanna Chickwee, who is the Chair of Cardiac Surgery at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, California. During her extraordinary career, Dr. Chickwee has performed thousands of cardiac procedures, including many heart valve repairs and heart valve replacements. Dr. Chickwee, you and I have known each other for many, many years. It is great to see you again, and thanks for being with us today. Pleasure to be with you again today, Adam. Yeah, and so Dr. Chickwee, we're answering patient questions, and today we got a question from Rich who is one of the superstars in our community. And he asks, I'm a 63 year old male who competes in natural bodybuilding. Three years ago, I had a mechanical aortic valve replacement and now I have severe mitral regurgitation with mild atrium dilation. I have only mild symptoms such as an occasional palpitation. Can I get the mitral valve repaired with a robotic procedure, or is the mitral clip the protocol given my risk factor? That's a really great question. And Rich has a range of options depending on what has caused his mitral valve regurgitation. The valve can be repaired if it's a prolapsed valve. Um, if it's other causes of mitral valve regurgitation, it may be that a replacement is more appropriate. And then this third option that Rich has asked about, which is the mitra clip, might be an option, but I have to put some caveats in here. And the first one is, is that right now Rich only has palpitations. And something like the mitra clip, which is a less invasive way of repairing the mitral valve through a vein in your leg, is really only approved for sick patients who aren't fit for surgery that have really bad symptoms. Dr. Chick, we gotta ask you a follow-up. You mentioned about the use of the mitra clip only for frail, very sick, perhaps even inoperable patients. Why is that? So that's a great question. And the reason for that is that we haven't been using this technology in patients that are younger or don't have symptoms. So we don't know what the long-term durability of the mitral clip is. We know that a good surgical repair in a degenerative valve will last you a lifetime, but we don't know that's the case with mitral clip. And that's actually one of the reasons for a really important trial, which we are running, which is comparing mitral clip with surgery in patients with severe mitral regurgitation due to mitral valve prolapse. And Dr. Chickwee, I'm sure patients are now wondering, what is this clinical trial and how might I learn more about it? So the name of the trial is PRIMARY. It's a randomized trial that's funded by the National Institutes of Health. And there are high volume expert centers participating in it. You can find a list of those centers at the clinical trials website um, that you can access through heartvalvesurgery.com. And when you go to one of those centers for your mitral consultation, ask your surgeon or your cardiologist, am I eligible to participate in the primary trial? Rich, I hope that helped you learn more about the possibility of a robotic surgical mitral valve repair, also about the mitral clip. And Dr. Chickwee, thanks for sharing all about the primary trial. Sounds very interesting and as always, thank you for taking time away from your very busy practice there at Cedar sinai in Los Angeles and sharing all these fascinating insights about the best and the most appropriate care of mitral valve disease. Thanks so much. Thank you very much, Adam. Absolute pleasure to join you in the heartvalvesurgery.com community today. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit 
parkvalvesurgery.com.